guys were able to hold on <laughs> today. What, what, what's, how did you guys hold on? What was, what, what was required? I think first and foremost, we just had to keep our composure. Um, they were already making a run, and uh, we just had to play the clock to a certain extent. And we made plays when it counted, and uh, we got the job done. But uh, we just let our foot off the pedal. Um, but I think we did a good job of keeping our composure and making sure that we um, finished the game. What's the message in the huddles in situations like that where the, the lead kind of goes from 30 to 20 to 10? Like, how, how do you guys stay the course and then what is set? Uh, pretty much like I just said, just keep your composure, stay in the game, um, finish the game, most importantly, um, don't let up, um, stay aggressive. So I think when you get a lead like that, you, you tend to just, you know, lay back a little bit, uh, given that it was a 30 point lead, but you know, they're a good team. They have a lot of guys who can score the ball and they showcase that tonight by getting, you know, close, you know, in the game. So, um, I think the message was just, you know, uh, finish the game, um, you know, don't, don't allow, you know, the score to in the momentum to dictate what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, and I think we did a good job of that. What's the reaction among players when Jokic gets kind of tossed suddenly like that into the game? Uh, I mean, we hate to see him get tossed in the fourth quarter, um, but, you know, it's just, you know, collectively we have to come together, um, you know, um, and just, I mean, I sound repetitive, but uh, just to finish the game, uh, uh, we know, what he means to us, what you know, he means to our offense, what he means to our defense, um, and to lose him in that fourth quarter, I think it was like six minutes ago. Uh, it was it was tough, but uh, we found a way. Jeff, what you say about Aaron that he plays almost forty minutes, and mm -hmm. with a minute seventeen left, you got nothing to thank to Carl Gafford and finish with that two minute run. Well, Aaron's only 26, so I would, <laughs> I would hope that he has enough in the tank to you know finish out the game. But Aaron, Aaron's been playing tremendous. Um, you know what he's been giving us. You know, on both ends of the floor has been great. Uh, he's been playing playing well uh, in the post, uh, shooting the ball well, and you know he showed his versatility today uh, by on the defensive end uh, all day guarding uh, Brad and doing a good job at it, and then finishing at the five. And uh, you know that shows you know you know his limitless skill of what he can uh, what he can do on the floor. Uh, that's what it's all about. We've been, you know, just collectively and talking amongst each other about just fighting through our, everything we've been battling. Um, you know, losing guys to COVID, uh, injuries. Um, you know, I felt like a guy went down every every game for us. You know, whether it was COVID or injury, but we found a way. Uh, we had some lumps in a row, but uh, we were able to, you know, keep you know, our focus on the game and, you know, try to accomplish the strategies that coach, um, you know, put us out there to do. And, you know, I think we've been doing a great job of, you know, going out there and competing. Um, you know, whether it was a, a loss or a win, I think we've, we've been there competing, I know, each game. And things are starting to turn the corner now. Hey, Jeff, what has allowed you to step into the starting lineup and just have that group be such a seamless fit and really have a sky-high efficiency you and Aaron and, and you know, well, just individually speaking, being a vet, uh, knowing how I can impact the game, um, you know, whether that be with my voice, whether that be with, you know, offensively, defensively, finding ways to, you know, fill a role uh, that coach needs, that the, the starting five needs. Um, we lose a big piece like Mike. Um, you know, I, I just came in, I just wanted to, you know, do whatever they needed me to do, um, you know, whether it be guard, uh, you know, playing a post, um, you know, you name it, I've done it. So uh, I just wanted to go out there and just, you know, play with energy, uh, support our guys and, you know, just be that, that vet. And, you know, I you know, think I've done a great job of that and trying to lead the guys and, you know, be there for, for my teammates. Um, and, you know, we've had, you know, some lows in these last 10 games, uh, but we've been playing well as, as of late, but, <clears throat> Um, you know, for me, it was just, you know, coming in and just trying to, you know, just play hard and, you know, to be for, be there for my team. Are you sure? Hey, Jeff. Uh, <clears throat> how, do you, how do you feel about just the 
kind of changes in officiating this season and the overall level of physicality that they're allowing? All right, though, I'm not going to talk about officiating. They've been doing a tremendous job with their calls. And, you know, we've been, you know, adapting to what they're looking to. So, um, you know, the game has been called well. The game flow has been great. So um, that's it. Hi, Jeff. Congrats for the win from Cordoba, Argentina. Cool. How easy is it to play with a point guard like Facu, who always finds a way to pass the ball to an open teammate? Facu magic is amazing. That guy, uh, you know, he plays hard, um, you know, every night. Uh, he leaves it out there on the floor. Uh, and his ability to see the floor, uh, to make the passes that he's able to make, Um, you know, it's amazing. That, I mean, I think that's why he got the nickname for a reason. Um, and, you know, I love when he's on the floor. Um, I love being a teammate of his. Uh, he's a special talent, special guy, a uh, tremendous person. So uh, I'm just glad he's on our team. No problem. You have a great night. Yeah, don't try to trick me. <laughs>